So I don't know how I'm on it. Hey guys, Fishing Freaks 97 here. I'm sorry I haven't been posting on my channel very lately. I've been very busy, but now that it's summertime, I'm gonna start making a lot more videos about fishing. So I'm gonna be starting something new. They're gonna be called Vlogs, which is basically a video blog about fishing. So vlog instead of vlog. Um, they're gonna be showing you me fishing, and I'm gonna be showing you different techniques on how to catch big bass. So I hope you guys enjoy these vlogs. If you do, I'll keep making them. And thanks for watching. Just over three pounds, guys. What a stud. Smells good, boys. Doesn't get better than that. I caught that bass on a Z-Man original chatterbait. I don't remember what color this is in exactly. I feel like it's just green and black. I think that's what it's called on Tackle Warehouse. Um, this is a 3 8 ounce chatterbait. The reason why bass are so dang attracted to these things is because it's just a realistic pattern. It looks just like a minnow swimming through the water. Um, you've got the shine from the blade itself. Um, I tend to buy the ones that just have this silvery chrome look to them. You've got that, you've got um, on some of the skirts you can always change them out but on most of the skirts you got some flash from that and also you got the pulsation I think that's word pulsation. It pulsates the skirt pulsates a lot <laughs> The pul it pulsates a lot when you're um, reeling it. You don't always have to do a straight retrieve, we'll get into that later but um, it pulsates a lot and then also if you have a trailer on these things trailer is killer because um, this blade makes both the skirt and the trailer move like really crazy. So I'm going to show you guys another clip of me catching a pretty nice bass on a chatterbait. Hope you guys enjoy.
Mission 2. Maybe even 3. Oh, he wasn't going anywhere. On that Z-Man Chatterbait, I'm going to weigh him quick because this is a real nice fish. It's 2.7. So, 2.5 pounder. Just a real nice fish. Came right out under this tree. That is a sweet fish. I hope you guys are enjoying this vlog so far. Um, I was just going to go over some trailer options for a minute here. So I talked about like the Kytec and really any type of paddle tail swim bait is going to really help the um, chatterbait move in the water. So I've got that and then I also have the Havoc, that's the grass pig, um, that's 5 inches. I usually f use a 4 inch worm or paddle tail minnow just because chatterbaits I'm throwing aren't that big. Um, if you're looking for a more finesse style, um, I would recommend using a reaper style bait. You could rip this tail in half and it could be um, look like a minnow tail. Or you could go with a senko. Um, I think that would look like a darting minnow. I think that would actually look pretty cool. I've never tried it, but um, I know if the bite's kind of tough and you need a search bait, finesse search bait, I think that would be a great option. Another option for finesse would be a um, grub. That's also a trigger X. These are both trigger X. And then if you're looking for a little bit more action, um, I'd recommend something like a net bait pack of craw or the strike king crawdad. Those are both great options for a ton of action in the water. I have one more clip to show you guys before I end this first vlog. I hope you guys are enjoying it, so stay tuned.